What's up YouTube, Jeff back again, and I'm coming back with another Samsung One UI 4.0 Beta 2 video. Thanks for all the people watching my video this morning. I got up super early in the morning, so it's nice to see the video get some views and get some feedback. One thing that people were kind of interested in, it seemed like in the comments, was how does this compare to Android 12 with Material U and Monet running on a Pixel device? So of course, I'm still running the latest Android 12 beta on my Pixel 5a, which is what I have right here. And so I thought I'd go ahead and compare it in a lot of the UI theming elements to the new uh, 4.0 beta 2 on my Galaxy S21 Ultra. Now I am running the Galaxy S21 Ultra US Unlocked model. Some people were asking which phone I'm using to actually do the, my beta reviews and everything. That is the device that I'm using. So I went ahead and set the same wallpaper on both of them. So you kind of see some differences in the theming elements. Now, in the last video, I talked about the fact that the theming is a little less aggressive when it comes to sort of theming everything. Uh, on the Pixel, it certainly themes a lot more elements. There's a lot more things throughout the UI. You can kind of see here when you go through the drop-down menu uh, how Google just kind of has themes themed a little bit differently too. You'll notice on my Galaxy S21 Ultra, the toggle icons are sort of very deep purple, uh, and then there's a lighter purple color there down there on the brightness slider. Whereas if you look on the uh, Pixel 5a, you'll notice that it's a lighter shade of purple throughout. It's actually lighter than either of the shade of purples that you've got there uh, on the Galaxy S21 Ultra. And this is kind of themed throughout the entire UI, including the brightness slider has the same sort of overall look. You'll notice also that there's other theme elements aside from the coloring that are different. You notice how even in dark mode, both of these are on dark mode, um, the Galaxy S21 Ultra has more of a transparent background here, whereas the Pixel 5a has sort of a very dark background. It's completely black. Can't really see anything there. And of course, also the animation's quite a bit different uh, actually when you scroll down. So it's still not exactly the same animation. It's very similar though. I think Samsung's done a pretty nice job of trying to get that to look, you know, in a very similar manner to what it looks like on the Pixel devices, but it's definitely still not exactly the same. Um, if you go into the app drawer, of course, a lot of people want this kind of springy scrolling uh, app drawer. Uh, you don't get that on Samsung device, obviously. You're still scrolling left to right here, um, and the animations just don't look exactly the same in sort of that. We did get some smoother animations, like I said in my previous video, but still not the exact same animations you're going to get from the Pixel. Now, aside from that, another thing you'll notice is if you go into your settings on the Pixel, uh, you'll notice that you do have kind of an all kind of white look here. Samsung still has a less, you know, uniform design. It's got kind of like a light look, but it's still got sort of a tint of that purple to it. You can kind of see, uh, whereas in the settings menu here on the Galaxy S21 Ultra, you still got all the colorful icons on the side. So definitely not keeping with the full material you design throughout the UI. That's definitely something that you'll notice. Uh, if you go into, in terms of your apps, uh, you have a lot different looks at the apps. And so if you actually go into the Samsung apps, you'll notice this is kind of the material, or whatever you want to call it, dynamic color theming, whatever Samsung's calling it. Uh, inside the Samsung device, you do get the purple button colors there on all of the numbers and the calculator and the ruler for the measurements. Also your icon there, you see this little blinking icon is purple as well. Um, but if you go in on the Google calculator app, I'll show you guys side by side, this one has a little bit more theming to it. The hues are a little differentiated. This purple is a little bit darker. You've got a darker shade of lavender up there at the top, a lighter color for the power button, just some very different sort of things going on inside the Google Calculator app. But basically, Samsung has themed most of their main apps. Uh, just like I said, a lot less you know overall aggressive and uniform than Google. Here's the Samsung Calendar app versus the Google Calendar app. Let me go back here to the Google Calendar app. You can see here, it's got the purple hues at the bottom there. Samsung, if you hit the plus button, you can see purple on the text, but you know, it's definitely not the same. The pullout menu here, you can see, it's got that dark lavender shade there. If I go back here, the pullout menu here doesn't really have any colors to it or anything on the side menu. So the calendar is definitely a little bit different. Uh, Samsung has also themed the phone and they've also themed messages. So here's kind of what messages look like. Again, very small amount of coloration to it at the end of the day. There really isn't too much coloration um, going on there. I've got nothing but a bunch of spam on these, so there's really nothing personal to show. I get a lot of spam messages on some of my review lines. Um, but anyway, you can see that the Google uh, app is a lot more themed out. This is Google Messages. You can get on the Play Store, of course. But of course, the real thing is, you know, a lot of these apps, if you want to use the Google apps on your Samsung device, 
and you're using the wallpaper theming from the Galaxy S21 Ultra on One UI Beta um, 4 Beta 2, if you go into something like Gmail, I went to my Gmail folder here, um, and I'll show you guys the promotions folder. Just wanna make sure I go to something that's a little bit easier for me not to have any personal info. You can see that in Gmail on my Pixel, you do have that purple coloration. Uh, it's a little bit subtle, but you can actually see there's that purple coloration and hues throughout. Whereas on this one, it's just got blue, which is not actually matching really the theme of the rest of the device. And so that's definitely going to happen um, if you have something like a Pixel device, it's gonna theme throughout all the Google apps, um, not just Gmail, but also Google Keep, Contacts, uh, all these apps, whereas on the Samsung device right now, like I said, it appears they're not really using Monet because of course it's not open source. Um, that'll be with Android 12.1. Then we might see it match the things in the Google app. Right now it looks like Samsung is kind of just doing their own theming. Uh, and you can definitely see that from the fact that the colors, they don't match you know, one for one across the pixel um, and the Galaxy S21 Ultra on One UI 4.0 Beta 2. So there are some differences obviously here. Uh, animations still not to that same level as on the Pixel, but it does appear that Samsung is trying to improve some things. They did at least give us color theming a little bit, so I wanted to compare it to Monet. This is obviously not Monet, it's just kind of a, an alternate color theming that Samsung has come up with. Uh, it does look good, like I said, definitely not uh, uniform. Oh, also, if you go the volume buttons on here, see? The volume buttons on here, it's kind of tough to see, I guess, but the volume on here is redesigned and it's got this nice purple hue. This one's just still got the standard colors. So there are other UI elements that aren't fully themed. Um, and I guess I also should show the lock screen. That's another big one. If you go to the lock screen, you of course got the new clock. It's themed with purple. Uh, Samsung did do that though. It's kind of hard to tell, but these are a light shade of purple. It's just hard to tell because it's also got some pink in there. Um, but the lock screen is themed on both of the devices. Just obviously, you know, Pixel has that new aesthetic, whereas Samsung kind of has their same, but there's a lot of different, you know, clocks you can choose from within Samsung's menu as well. All right, guys, so that's a quick look, comparison, calendar, calculator. Samsung kind of themed them throughout their apps, whereas you're gonna get all the Google apps themed on a Pixel device right now. Hopefully when Android 12.1 comes out and Monet is open source, uh, we'll see the Samsung integrate that and then we'll get even more theming, perhaps even matching the theme in the Google Apps throughout the entire design. For those of you who use Google Apps, I use Google Apps. If you don't, well, you know, if you use Samsung Apps, you're good to go. Anyway, I'm going to make a full stability review. It might be tomorrow because I want to test battery life first. So far, it's been better for me. I can tell you the eSIM doesn't work on T-Mobile, though. That's a problem for some people. Google Pay doesn't work so far, so that might be a problem for you, too. But I'll check in tomorrow with some other thoughts. Uh, if you guys enjoyed the video, like, comment, subscribe. If you need to buy any Samsung phones or products, I always drop my link below if you want to support the channel. Helps me out if you shop with my link. Uh, follow me on Twitter. I'll drop the link below to that too. I'll see you guys in the next one. Thanks a lot for watching.